Hello, hello, my friends. I am jumping in because did you know I am teaching a live master class to help you harness the powers of this full moon lunar eclipse that is happening 4th of July weekend. This is a big one and there is a lot that can be gained from it. You can use this lunar eclipse to your advantage. It's like checking the wind and saying, hmm, if I hit the ball, which way will it go? Or you're out there sailing, you wanna take advantage of the currents, you wanna swim with the flow of the river rather than against it. That way you can get to your destination faster and easier and enjoy the ride. So if you don't know, this weekend, we are having the final eclipse in the summer season of eclipses. I love that we have a summer season of eclipses. So yes, every year we have eclipses. Generally, we have around four, but the year of 2020, if you haven't noticed, it's a little bit special. <laughs> it's a little bit different. It's got some extra oomph to it. And a lot of people have been making jokes about it, but it is a year of transformation. It's shaking things up. So the universe said, hey, instead of four normal eclipses, let's have six. So this is the fourth eclipse that we've had so far this year. There are two more, one in November, one in December, but this is the last one of the summer eclipse season. So it is gonna go off with a bang to be certain. It's gonna create its own set of fireworks. And where is it gonna create fireworks? Where is this important for you to pay attention? Well, generally speaking, the group collective is going to feel this energy around their career, around their legacy. What mark do they wanna make on the world? What do they wanna leave behind? What are they doing and why are they doing it? So many of my one-on-one -on -one clients have been coming to me um, and it's wonderful how we seem to tune into it and we're like, wow, I didn't even realize that this inner tug of war that I'm feeling between following my passion and still balancing home and family life and being able to nurture myself and my family, I didn't even realize that the group collective is experiencing this. I'm exhausted. A lot of my clients are coming to me just feeling fatigued and wondering where is this total exhaustion coming from? And this feeling of like, that's it, I'm giving up. I'm not making progress, you know. Um, I don't know if the business in this direction is the right idea. Maybe I'll pivot and I'll go this way or maybe this job or that job. I wanna say pump the brakes, take a deep breath, all of this is happening for a reason. The exhaustion for certain because there's some kind of resistance going on. What lunar within you? So that resistance going on, here's where knowing about energetic weather reports like the lunar eclipse can be so beneficial and helpful to you so that you can take advantage of this extra universal boost rather than fighting it or resisting it that causes exhaustion and gives you that whenever we're tired, or extra fatigued, we're gonna wanna give up. Everything is gonna seem so hard. So whenever you feel like giving up or quitting, ask yourself, how tired are you? How much have you been pushing through the exhaustion? And if you get a big whomping yes, then that's your sign, I need to rest before I make any decisions. A lot of that fatigue and tension, or a lot of that fatigue is coming from the tension of resistance. So that's where the lunar eclipse can help you. The lunar eclipse, any lunar eclipse, is going to help not only shake things up and stir things to the surface, but it's gonna help pull out of your life, release the things that have been weighing you down. I see it like dead weight, or if you ever thatch your garden, like you thatch out the dead grass, you get one of those rakes and you're like, okay, I gotta get up this dead grass so that there's room for new grass seed, for new grass to grow. If we are just consumed and filled, whether it's physical clutter, whether it's mental clutter, emotional clutter, whether it's other people's ideas and opinions of, oh, that's just a pipeline dream. What makes you think you can do that? Or, oh, you wanna jump over here? I don't know. They're projecting their worries and fears onto you because they can't do it. That's not what their mission is that they came in with. This is your mission. This weekend is about saying, okay, this lunar eclipse has the ability, if I'm conscious and working with it mindfully, to release the things that have been weighing you down. Other people's thoughts, beliefs, the way that they cord to you and zap your energy. So that's gonna be one of the first things we talk about is a very wonderful energy practice. I love it, it has worked wonders for my clients and myself that when you feel your energy being zapped, 
When you look at your dreams and they seem lackluster, when you feel like giving up, not only are you fatigued, but somebody could be very well zapping you and sapping all of your strength. So it's important on a daily basis to check in and say, hmm, do I have somebody in my field? You know, like is somebody in my personal bubble space? It could simply be, um, if you think about an inspirational movie, we always love the underdog and we see them getting through and we cheer them on. We feel that elation when they come through to the other side, that excitement. Well, is someone in your space kind of like Lucy from Charlie Brown, who is like, Charlie Brown, really? What made you think you could kick that football? Oh, Charlie Brown, you know? It, we want those negative naysayers. We want them out of our head, out of our personal bubble space. So the very first thing we'll do is a conscious clearing meditation to clear the cords of everybody else's energy, thoughts, and opinions. It's a wonderful practice that can be done daily. It's easy, it's convenient. Heck, you could even do it you know, while you're talking to someone. I have been known to do that. So when I call it an energy practice and a meditation, you can really blend the two of those together and it's powerful, powerful, powerful. The next thing that I'm gonna be talking about is creating healthy boundaries. So once we get everybody's energy out of our space, it's important that it doesn't come right back in because the universe abhors an empty space. It's gonna fill it up. Just think about your counters. I have a client, she's got this big, beautiful island in her kitchen. Every time she clears it, something comes onto it. So it's important to create healthy boundaries. Once you've got everybody out of your space, you say, okay, this space, I'm consciously choosing it up with something. So I'm gonna teach you how to basically check your auric field, check for where there are any tears or snags or holes, how to strengthen it, how to remain strong and connected to your dream. So again, that fatigue that you've been feeling or that exhaustion of, oh, it's such a slog, when will I finally see results? This is gonna help you. It's gonna strengthen your resolve, it's gonna keep you energized, and it's gonna keep you on track for your dream. Then the final thing that we're gonna do, I call it an energetic tune-up. Not only will I channel energy for you, and that's the benefit of being with me, and I'm teaching it live, so you get to be with me live. If you haven't been able to work with me one-on-one -on -one yet, this is the next best thing, getting a chance to be in the same Zoom room as myself and having that experience of the live energy transmission where I help you shift. This is what I came in to do in this world. This is what I was born to do, was this alchemical energetic shifting process to help show you energetically what might be off, where the holes might be, where the snags might be, and how great it would feel if you were back in harmony with yourself. You had that tune-up, you were on key. So for example, when I taught yoga, and I taught, and I'm still teaching yoga on and off, not as much as I used to, but I taught yoga full-time for 20 plus years, Students would come in with tight hamstrings. They couldn't touch their toes, backs of the legs really tight. And there's this feeling of like, oh, I'll never be able to do it. But if you add in a little bit of a prop, if I show them another pathway and we use blocks, hands on blocks or a chair, we align the legs just so, we do some prep work, we do some recovery work, all of a sudden, they get the feeling experience of doing a forward bend without back pain, without their hamstrings limiting them, and they can feel the experience of a forward bend without having to do it totally um, on their own or like the picture, the teacher. So that's the benefit of being with me live. I get to tune into your energy and I definitely adjust what I'm teaching based on who shows up. Um, I read everyone's energy, but if you can't be with me live, that's okay because this is gonna be recorded and it's yours to keep. The practices that I'm teaching are specifically, I've set them up like a little recipe. There's that alchemical background. Set it up so that you can make the most of this lunar eclipse energy. So if you think about it, like if you watch any of those wonderful space travel movies and they're like, well, in order to boost our time as we travel to this far distant star, if we kind of like slingshot ourselves around that planet, then we'll get a super boost and we'll get there much faster and we'll save like a million years. <laughs> 
<laughs> all those light years. This is kind of that idea. It's like, okay, this particular recipe that I'm gonna be giving to you, I love putting these together. Um, totally channeled, it's me looking in my little energetic kitchen and saying, ooh, this sacred practice is gonna be perfect, and ooh, this one, and oh, if we bring this in, we'll have this wonderful experience and result. So yes, this is gonna be like slingshotting you around, using the lunar eclipse energy to help, to get there faster, um, but you can do these practices at any time. You can come back to them over and over. It doesn't have to be a full moon lunar eclipse. Anytime that you have somebody else's thoughts running through your head, um, I've been telling that really bad um, pickup line a lot to my clients, it keeps coming up. It's like, you must be exhausted. Why? You've been running through my mind all day long. <laughs> so cheesy and bad, but heck, it's so true. How many people are running through your head right now? Their thoughts and opinions about what you can or can't do, holy cannoli. So this clearing the cords meditation, you can use it at any time that people are running through your head, exhausting you. Um, the meditation of creating healthy boundaries, hello. How many times have we said yes when we meant no? This is gonna be a good class for that because I'm also gonna help clear up that residual energy that's left behind where we still have a little bit of resentment in those moments where we said yes and it really wasn't in alignment with our heart. The other aspect of those healthy boundaries is just a tune-up. It's so great to get these energy transmissions and I'm gonna teach you how to balance your energy centers as well through sound. Um, I use my triple M signature method with all of these, the meditation, the mantra, and the mudra. It really gives you um, just a nice solid framework. One of the things about making energetic shifts is being able to talk with our subconscious. Um, if you think about like stop, drop, and roll, we were taught that many of us as children, like if you're on fire, what do you do? Stop, drop, roll. It's easy, it's a little sing-songy, and when we are in complete panic, everything goes out the window. We don't remember anything, but those sing-songy rhymes, they have a way of sticking. So even if we're on fire and in complete panic, somehow stop, drop, roll can come back. So it's the same thing with the energetic practices. If we're in panic and everything's hitting the fan and we have to make a decision quickly, and rather than go into reactive primal fear mode, you have set, because of your internal work because of the work we do here you set up those guidelines in your subconscious so when panic hits you'll know what to do the mudra the mantra the meditation to clear those cords to create the healthy boundaries and to give yourself a tune-up essentially feed your spirit so you're no longer exhausted because this is the weekend my friends where it is all about stepping out fully onto your career and your legacy path, finding harmony and balance in your home life with that so that you're not working so hard that you have no time for self-nurture and care and to be with your family, but you have that harmony that you've been striving for. I am so excited to share you share this with you. It's gonna be over the moon exciting. It's happening tomorrow night, Friday, July 3rd, 7.30 to 8.15. As soon as I'm done recording, I splice and dice all the recordings up into tiny little bite-sized practices. So it won't be like a 45 minute recording you get, but it will be little five to maybe 10 minute practices that you can individually come back to. Let's say you just wanna clear the cords with people. They're in your head and you've had it then you can just do the clear of the cords meditation, or you wanna strengthen your boundaries because you feel like your energy is just draining out like somebody opened or lifted the stopper in the tub and the water's going down. Create that healthy, energetic boundary, clear your auric field and strengthen it. Um, and the harmony tune-up, hey, I go back to my teachers over and over and over. It has been such a gift when they share these transmissions because when I'm having an off day and I can't find myself easily, something just feels off, I go to these, I, I go to my teachers to find alignment. It's like, please remind me of who I am. And that's, that's one of the biggest and greatest things any teacher, guide, or coach can do for us is be a reflection, to reflect back the beauty and the harmony and says and to say i see that you're hurting and in pain i know things feel off but here's where i see that harmony and beauty within you let me share that with you and let me show you how to get back to that and that's what that energetic transmission is really about so know that these practices will definitely help you for this eclipse but they'll also be 
fabulous to come back to at any time in the future. And they're yours all in, and they'll be bite-sized little pieces in Teachable. And oh my gosh, I love doing these live classes. This is the last one though for the summer eclipse season. So hop on this. Um, I'm gonna, sh I did share the link above for uh, signing up and registering, do register. Um, I have limited spots available in the Zoom room, uh, but there will be the replay. And gosh, I hope that I get a chance to see you tomorrow night and share all of these wonderful things. But if not, I will continue, continue um, to share more and more here in the group. And I hope that you have a wonderful, fantastic weekend wherever you are and much love to you guys. All right. I will talk to you later. Mwah. Hey, and if you have any questions about the masterclass tomorrow or what to expect, put them down in the comments below. Know that it's just you. All you have to do is show up. That's a great thing is our physical body is our best energetic tool. Um, all the other things are kind of like the trimmings, the icing on the cake, nice to have, the crystals, the tuning forks, the cards, reading natal charts, which I've been having so much fun doing. Um, I'm getting excited because I'm, I've got a few spots opening up for quick little energy tune-ups and readings, whether it's natal charts or card readings. I'm gonna be sharing that soon, but otherwise. All right, I will catch you guys on the flip side. So much love to you. All right, bye.